fights and round one is underway. It's going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against the striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect the level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Good shit. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Sean. Nice kick with the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the open book. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with an understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first as she is showing us tonight. Oh, going for the takedown here. A swing and a miss by Sean Whaley. So both girls landing right out of the chute. Oh, pinpoint placement on the straight punch there. She's got an extended reach advantage in this one and made good use of it there. Oh, big right hand. Good punch, Lance. Sean going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Kick to the body by Ahmed. Another clinch position. Sean's shot is blocked. So just over 20 total strikes, which have landed for Whaley Jean. Again, back into this position. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> Elbow landed there by Sean. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground changes, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. I'll try it, I'll try it. up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Big body kick land. Swing and a miss by Akmedo. Oh, and she just continues to land that jab, keeping her opponent at distance. She's making this look like a video game. I mean, she's making it look like a video game. It's unreal to watch her pop that jab. It's like you're wanting a J-check before her. Fast moving. Jab always started everything, and tonight, this young lady is employing that same strategy. Nice kick with the right hand. Kick to the body by Akhmedov. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up. And finally, she gets the takedown. She stayed committed. At some point, she knew she was going to be able to get this fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Now let's see what she can do with it. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Zhang's back to the side control now. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Zhang. Akhmedov's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there. And these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Big kick. 
nice stick with the right hand. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting right. underway. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, right. but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and your jab is landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Beautiful body kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Powerful leg kick land. Great action to get to that takedown. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? And they separate. And she connects with a punch there, champ. She's so accurate. She's so good at timing all of her strikes. So again, they will clinch here. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Akhmedov gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. What a punch. Head kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Going to the body there with the right kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of state. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Two minutes to go round two. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position. Chong's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Akhmedov's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. One minute now, says the round two clock. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. 
While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jean. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Zhang Weili. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Nice punch <laughs> land over the top. <laughs> All right, so it was a pretty entertaining round, DC. Take us through some of the replays, if you will. I mean, it was jab after jab, right hand after right hand, punch after punch, kick after kick. This was as close a round as I've seen, but it was so fun to watch. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive the point home that she is the better fighter. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Clinch. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Zhang's kick. That one blocked. Nice kick with the right hand. And she misses with the left punch there. She got the turtle on that kick. Beautiful kick that land. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Akmeta. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, she gives up her back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do, tuck the chin, hand fight? You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands. Because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one, force it down, build your base, try to get back to your feet. And if worse comes to Shong's going for a choke here. from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Solid strike on the ground. Jong's got the full mount. Well, maybe that'll do it. And that's going to do it. Unbelievable. What a performance. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight.
Chris Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Dr. Whaley Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard-pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence.